Next one is scope of botany. Since ancient time, the human being started depending on the plants either directly or indirectly. And uh, for the development of our environment, there is a need of uh, knowing about the plant sciences. That is for development of uh, agriculture, horticulture, forestry, agronomy and uh, all these branches have to be developed means we have to have we should have at least little concept related to the plant sciences and here when the plant sciences will develop then only we can know how the new techniques are helping in the uh, increase in the crop production likewise uh, the in the ancient time when the wild species were very much present they started converting them into the domesticated species which are useful for them in the form of food materials Later, as the production of uh, these crops was not in par with the growing population. Now, in 1960s, the population was increasing drastically such that the crop production was not uh, enough for the growing population. At that time, there a need of uh, increase in the crop production. So, at that time, MS Swaminathan he had uh, started green revolution in India. During 1960s, M. S. Swaminathan had uh, started green revolution because uh, there was a severe scarcity of uh, food grain production and uh, he had taken the concept from uh, Mexican dwarf variety. He had uh, Mexican dwarf variety was a high yielding variety. So, he brought that Mexican dwarf variety to India and crossed with our native varieties and he produced a new variety of uh, wheat. That is the way how the crop production have been drastically increased because of uh, the hybridization experiments which were conducted by this Swaminathan scientist. Later he had used the same concept for the increase in the production of rice and also in some of the commercial crops. So, that is the way how that had helped in the increase in the crop production that is called as green revolution. And uh, Swaminathan is called as a father of green revolution in India. Likewise, uh, the domesticator plant crop production was decreasing at that time. Now, there is a need of increasing the crop production that had uh, been done by green revolution. And uh, now also there is a need of increase in the production of uh, crop. So, what, what was the basic thing how that uh, uh, green revolution was possible means the usage of uh, fertilizers are increasing the soil fertility or by using pesticides like uh, these are the high yielding varieties and all these have been uh, used at that time. Nowadays, new concept was very much there that is called as a genetic engineering. It is more technical thing when compared to the hybridization which was done by M. S. Swaminathan. In this process, the genes are transferred from one plant to the other plant. So, particularly the desirable genes that may be either disease resistant gene or the high yielding gene will be transferred to the one plant species to the other plant species. That is the way how this uh, the new genes will replicate inside the new host and start producing that particular character. That is the way how this uh, biotechnology had been uh, used in the development of plant sciences. Then the scientists had done many such uh, experiments for the development of the plants. At the same time the plant breeders. or they had started plant breeding in which they started producing the hybrid varieties in maize, sugarcane, rice, wheat etc. So, this is the way how these hybrid varieties are produced by the plant breeding technique by the plant breeders. So, which also helped in the uh, increase in the production of the crop plants. The knowledge of plant physiology had helped in 
द रेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर्स यूसेज एंड ऑल्सो इंप्रूविंग द soil fertility which led to the production of the increase in the production of the crop plants so that is the way how the mineral nutrition will be increased in the crop plants so for that purpose uh, the plants are been uh, exploited for that purpose here the plants produce some hormones inside them those are called as a plant growth regulators are phyto hormones here the phyto hormones are of two types some are promoting the growth and development those are called as plant growth promoters and some are inhibiting the growth those are called as plant growth inhibitors so let us see some of the functions related to this uh, uh, which are useful for the agriculture and other fields like uh, weed controlling property like we know that uh, many such unwanted plants will be growing in the agriculture field along with the agriculture crop so here the most of the weeds are uh, dicotyledonous plants so there is an hormone that is a uh, auxin like a uh, 24d and 245t 24 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid and 245 trichlorophenoxy acetic acid these two auxins have the weed controlling property that is weed side property or herbicide property the ability to kill the unwanted weeds and the herbs which are growing in the crop plants then removal of seed dormancy dormancy is a resting stage where uh, the seed does not germinate under because of some uh, abnormal conditions so here when the seeds are in dormancy condition the time taken for the germination will be more so the production may not come in time so when the seed dormancy have been removed so this can be possible by some zebralins so zebralin is one of the natural plant hormone which uh, helps in the removal of the seed dormancy and promote seed germination next increase in shelf life of vegetative or uh, plants like spinach green leafy vegetables so here uh, when this hormone that is cytokinin is sprayed on the plants that will increase the shelf life of the vegetative parts of the plant body like in spinach then increase in vas life of flowers in poinsettia like plants when the cytokines have been sprayed so they also increase the the shelf the vas life of the flower yielding plants same way ripening of the fruits like a banana watermelon etc like uh, when the hormones like ethylene is an gaseous hormone which is sprayed on the unripened uh, fruits so they make them to ripen then uh, root initiation from stem cuttings that is a uh, the formation of roots from the cut part of the stem which help in increasing the number of plants so which is useful in the horticulture so this is done by auxins so these are some of the significances related to how the plant uh, physiology is helping in the development of agricultural crops and agricultural productivity next one is uh, related to phytopathology 
Pathology is a study of diseases. Phytopathology means the study of plant diseases. So, which will help in prevention and uh, eradication of the diseases. Organ culture. So, this is a part of the tissue culture where any part of the plant is taken and that have been grown on the culture medium which leads to production of more number of plants in short period of time. This concept of a growing large number of plants in short period of time is called as micro propagation. This one help in the conservation of the endangered plant species and also rare species which are going to extinct which will help in the development of paper mills. cotton mills, cloth mills, ayurvedic pharmaceuticals, and uh, sugar mills, etc. So, all these uh, the paper mills, cotton mills, cloth mills, ayurvedic pharmaceuticals, sugar mills can be developed by botany. Apart from this one, some commercial useful products are derived from the plants like uh, timber. There are many such timber yielding plants which are uh, used in uh, various purposes by human beings. Then beverages like uh, tea, coffee, apart from this one condiments, rubber, tannins, resins etc. Like many such uh, commercial products are uh, taken from the plants which are required for the development of the human life. And all these one rubber, tannins, resins and gums these are the secondary metabolites which are uh, produced by the plants. And these secondary metabolites are not required for the plants but they are uh, useful for the humankind. Apart from this one essential oils and uh, aromatic oils are also being produced by the plants which are required for humankind. And uh, since ancient time human beings were depending upon the plants for medicinal purposes. So like many such plants are there like belladonna, arnica, vithenia, datura, digitalis, Rawolfia. So, etc. Such many such plants are there in which uh, the medicinal properties are required for the human beings. Apart from this one, there are some petro plants which are giving the diesel, we call it as bio diesel. So, those plants are uh, Pongamia and Jatropa. These are the plants which are rich in hydrocarbons. Here there are many such uh, plants which are required for the nitrogen fixation like rhizobium, azotobacter, rhodospirillum. Such many such plants are there which are required for uh, nitrogen fixation and improve the soil fertility. And at the same time there are some uh, unicellular organisms which are used in production of SCPs like uh, spirulina and chlorella. So, which is uh, one of the most nutritious food stuff and uh, mushrooms is one other which are highly nutritious food material for human beings. There are many such uh, decomposers which are uh, growing on the dead and decaying organic matter which are useful for recycling of uh, 
the minerals and as we said that uh, some of them are used as nitrogen fixation so these are used as a bio fertilizers like uh, anabina and nostoc like examples there are some plant species which are acting as soil binders and uh, the soil binders will protect the soil from erosion so likewise uh, many such uh, other significances are there related to the plant sciences there are some algal members particularly which are belonging to brown algae which are useful in the production of iodine and uh, algae like compounds same way there are some red algae which are useful for the production of agar and uh, this agar is useful for the culturing of the microbes likewise these are the starting from the unicellular microscopic uh, algae to the highly developed angiosperms human beings are exploiting their characteristic features and uh, useful for the development of the life process of the human beings